Howdy, this is Jeffrey Jones, and I'm here to discuss the rise and fall of Iridium with you. Iridium was a satellite phone company in the late 1980s, early 1990s um, that wanted to make a change in telecommunications. In the late 1980s, communication relied on both cable and satellite based links. That, that's how we communicated. But for a lot of business travelers, it was extremely expensive or there was a problem calling from overseas back home. And Iridium really wanted to capitalize on this last frontier, so to speak. But they needed to um, find competitive pricing factors between their sales and existing cellular services. Now, uh, the founders of Iridium and the competitors all felt that you know a mobile satellite service was the way to go but it was extremely expensive for the iridium setup it was going to cost 3.5 billion to build and it would consist of 77 satellites being deployed by the time they started in 1996. Iridium forecasted 1.4 million users by 1996 with 700,000 the break-even point. What Iridium really needed was a revenue model. And so they started out uh, raising the capital to uh, get the company started. And in June of 1997, they had the initial public offering. And by the end of 1997, half of the needed satellites were in orbit. They also needed 170 countries to make it worldwide, to make it a worldwide service. How did Iridium make money? Well, their initial plan was to raise 800 million by partnering with blue chip telecommunication companies, you know, AT&T, Southwestern Bell, all the phone companies from back when we were younger. But those telecommunication companies viewed Iridium as a competitor, ergo, they, they declined the partnership. Their business model was based on, you know, providing uh, phone service for folks. Well, it was cost $3 a minute for the phone service. Finally, after obtaining a new CEO, Iridium offered portions of the company to international investors for $40 million a piece using multiple gateways integrated into their PTT systems, which were postal, telephone, and telegraph systems that were, the major were majority state-owned and provided a lot of revenue to uh, foreign countries. The, all of this made it very difficult for Iridium to get what they needed going. It made it hard for them to get the 170 countries that they needed, but it also made it difficult to have subscribers subscribe to a service that's not worldwide like you said that it was. The role of information systems in this case is basically information systems built the company from the ground up. It was the, you know, IT folks that from other companies that had this idea and got together and really started working on it. The board allowed the information systems group to decide on three of the factors that we've learned from our readings that you should never allow an IT group to decide. That's how much to spend, which capabilities should be for every customer, and how good the service needs to be. There was a competitor that their plan was to launch the same system but only have half of the satellites and it was only going to cost 50 cents a minute. But Iridium wanted to have the Rolls Royce of services and wanted it to be very good. So by allowing them to make that decision, it led to several of the key um, problems that overall became the key issue. Which the key issue of the case 
as quoted by John Richardson, then CEO, we're a classic MBA case study in how not to introduce a product. Basically, from the ground up, it was the product was introduced wrong. Um, you, as you go through the case and prepare your analysis, you'll see that from when they had publicly announced that Iridium was starting, they didn't even have permission from the SEC to um, on what type of license they would have. Um, they started rolling out products and they really didn't have a good customer base. But worse is they built a product but had no idea how to monetize or to gain revenue for that product. And then a key decision that they had to make was after the company you know, went into bankruptcy, how do they get all of the satellites out of orbit safely? This has been a summary of um, the rise and fall of Iridium, and um, I hope you, you will enjoy this case study as you work on it.